conflict is producing more refugees than the war in Syria. Many are fleeing not just to neighboring countries like Turkey or Jordan, but also far away places. In Brazil, for example, the government says the number of refugees seeking asylum is soaring. From just over 1,000 applications in 2010, last year there were more than 25,000. CCTV Stephen Gibbs has insight through the eyes of one of those refugees. My name is Ayman Imam. Uh, I am in Brazil from uh, uh, two months and a half. Ayman is one of over 1,700 refugees that have come from Syria to Brazil in the last four years. It's a very nice country, very beautiful uh, country, beautiful nature, uh, very nice people, uh, very friendly. Ayman left Syria fearing for his life. He has relatives who have been killed in the conflict. He first escaped to Turkey. It was there that he heard that Brazil, which has a traditionally neutral foreign policy, was offering near automatic visas to Syrian refugees. Brazilian uh, government helped us and uh, opened the, door f the doors for us to coming to, uh, to Brazil. So it's, it was very easy to come to uh, Brazil. Eu vou pra Copacabana. Para Copacabana. One of the first things he's doing in Rio is learning Portuguese. Eamon may have an advantage over the other students in this free class, many of whom are also refugees. In Syria, he taught languages. A helping hand is also being offered by a local charity. It provides bus passes and some money to those that need it. A man misses his home country, but not the war he's escaped. The situation in Syria, uh, it's very, uh, very, very dangerous. It's very dangerous to take the bus, dangerous to, to, to walk in the street. So it's much better to live in peace and uh, no war and uh, no uh, bombing uh, sound and uh, uh, airplanes and... Uh, you know uh, how is uh, the war, so it's, it's a catastrophe. It's catastrophic for the country, and uh, so. But uh, it's uh, our destiny. It's uh, we cannot uh, we cannot uh, change anything. So Ayman is still considering his future plans, but like thousands of refugees in this country of immigrants, he may well have found a new home here in Brazil. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.